Welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to kind of dispel a myth of just a little bit and uh, I wanted to show you what you may not know about guitar pedal circuits in general. So, to start out, I have breadboarded a circuit that's loosely kind of based around um, maybe sort of a, a Marshall Governor type of thing, except without the three band EQ, so probably more like an MI Audio crunch box sort of thing. Um, it's not that circuit exactly, but for the nerds who like to know this stuff, it's a non-inverting op amp into an inverting op amp, okay? Simple tone control, uh, buffer on the end, because I like it that way before the volume. And uh, let's start out with this circuit in uh, overdrive form. So this is more of an overdrive circuit. <laughs> Now again, uh, I spent about three minutes breadboarding this, so it's not the most optimal thing. In other words, it's okay. It's okay as a circuit. But what I really wanted to show you is that even though it's schematic, even though a person may say, oh, that's a clone that's built off of such and such type of pedal, it doesn't always mean that much. So that's in an overdrive fashion, okay? Now um, we can take the clipping diodes out of that, let's do some adjustments, and we'll have a clean boost. All right, so now uh, I simply added a buffer before it, just a simple buffer, um, and that allow it doesn't take out so much high end basically before it, especially with the breadboard. And so here we go. I've got it's a fairly clean circuit now, and uh, I've got the volume down because you know more volume just just gonna be louder. So it off. Turn it on. All right, let's say we want to make it more of a distortion. So we'll tweak a few parameters. We'll change the non-inverting, the inverting uh, stage to have more gain and um, We'll start from there. We'll put some diodes that are clipping to ground after it, and uh, it'll be more of a distortion. All right, so now we're more of a, we're more into sort of a distortion territory, more of a higher gain distortion, simply by we changed one resistor and uh, one capacitor at the non-inverting stage. So it's a little bit more, it's not so much bass before it starts to clip. And uh, here we go, higher gain. And from there, what else can we do with the same basic circuit? Well, we can add a very simple uh, transistor stage. So just a simple transistor stage to what we already have. I'll actually pull the diodes out of the circuit. So we're not hard clipping those di diodes. We're uh, op amp clipping here and a little bit of transistor clipping. So we'll do that. <music> Okay, so uh, here we go. Uh, diodes out of it, uh, transistor going into it, same basic circuit. Uh, all I did was uh, add a little bit more bass from that, that in that non-inverting op amp stage, that very first op amp stage on the regular circuit. Uh, I'm actually kind of adding, sort of adding some more bass in there. And uh, here we go.
right? And uh, you know what we can do from there? If we want an even, even crazier type of fuzz, real simple. All we have to do is add, uh, well, there's been multiple ways of doing it, but for this purpose, I'm just gonna simply add a, another non-inverting op-amp stage before the transistor. So if you're following the schematic, it's now simple non-inverting op-amp stage into a transistor stage, gain stage, into another non-inverting stage, into the inverting stage, out to a tone control, through a buffer, and then out the volume. So, uh, and just so you know, this is gonna be noisy. That high gain and fuzz and stuff like that, it, it doesn't do well with, doesn't, that's not even a word. It doesn't do well with, uh, you know, breadboards and the wires. You can, you can kind of see the mess I have here. It's uh, these little antennas that just basically grab noise and amplify it. So here we go. Start with the circuit and I'll kick on the op amp. <laughs> Nasty. So there you go. Completely different sounds, all basically out of the same schematic. Uh, not the exact same schematic, but the same skeletal structure, so to speak. And, uh, you know, not that it was the best fuzz in the world, not that it was the best overdrive or the best distortion, but I simply thought you might find it interesting whenever someone is talking about how a pedal is just a clone of something else. It just simply doesn't always mean it's exactly like the other one. Now, I'll, granted, I will agree that many times that is true, but not always. So, hope you like this video. Let me know in the comments below what you think. I mean, is this something that you find, um, that you found in your search for uh, some sort of overdrive or, or, or distortion or fuzz or whatever? Like, does that sort of thing really enter into your headspace and you think, oh, no, it's, uh, you know, it's based on circuit ABC, so I won't, definitely won't like it. Love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Hopefully, if I can get to it. Been really busy lately. See you next week with a new video. See ya.